The third area that we focus on in the report is the need for leaders to create a culture in which AI works for everyone. A beautiful example of this is a business that we're working with called WeWalk. Now there's over 250 million visually impaired people in the world, and 50 million, at least, that use a standard white cane. I'm sure you've all seen it. Now the problem with these standard white canes is that they can't detect obstacles above chest level. So low-hanging branch, for example. So the team at WeWalk decided to really change the game, and they designed a revolutionary new device that turns any standard cane into a smart cane. So using sensors and haptic feedback, this cane can warn users of above ground obstacles. And when you pair it with the WeWalk smartphone app, the user gets these rich data services, including integrated voice assistance and mapping services. It improves their safety, mobility, and independence. WeWalk is a graduate of the AI, Microsoft's AI for Good startup program that I mentioned a few minutes ago. And their solution leverages Azure AI services to process and analyze all the data that comes off the cane. And then WeWalk uses those data insights to develop services, personalized mobility training programs for their users. So I think you can start to see AI has this incredible potential to improve the quality, quality of life for people with disabilities of all kinds. And I think WeWalk is just an amazing example of how even a small firm uh, can, can make AI work really for everybody. 